holidays, everybody. And welcome from our home to yours. Nice to see you all out there. Thank you so much for joining us. We are super excited to be here with you in our living room since you couldn't come to us and we couldn't come to you. We thought with the magic of the internet, we'll bring you some holiday cheer. And we hope that despite the bonkers year that we've had, that you've all been able to find a little peace, maybe a few laughs along the way. Amidst all the crazy, we are all in it together. So let's just forge ahead into 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for inviting us into your home. We want to share some music with you. We thought that might be a nice way for us to celebrate. And uh, I want to kick it off by playing some music from my Christmas album, A Joyful Noise. And I'm going to start with one of my favorite holiday songs, Little Drummer Boy. This is an arrangement that I wrote for the album. Enjoy.
One of my favorite things about being a musician is getting to play with my friends who happen to be some of the best musicians in the world. And recording with them is really remarkable. It's so special. And getting to share it with you is also special. A few of those people who played on this record are Ricky Lawson, who played drums, Lenny Castro, percussion, Greg Manning and Wally Minko on keyboards, Abraham Laboreal on bass, uh, Mindy A. Bear on sax, and uh, Eric Marienthal on sax as well. There's so many people. Uh, I know I'm forgetting many of them. It takes a village. It really does take a village to do anything that we do. And I wanna show you what that really means. I made a video, we made a video, of uh, some behind the scenes of the making of the record album of, of A Joyful Noise. And I wanna share it with you right now so you can really see what it takes to make a record album cover. So we're sitting here doing makeup and getting ready for the photo shoot today for the new album called A Joyful Noise, my first Christmas album. But thanks all of you for being a part of this. I'm excited, this is good. When I first heard this next artist perform, I was so inspired that I knew that I just had to write an arrangement for the two of us to play on this record. Althea Waits is one of my favorite classical pianists, and she is also my mother-in-law, so I really love her, and we love playing together. Uh, we recorded this duo for you, 
and for me, I really wanted to play with her, uh, at the Rolling Hills United Methodist Church in the beautiful sanctuary where she performs uh, for their congregation. And I hope you enjoy it. A couple of years ago, we toured JPL. It was so amazing. We had such a great time. JPL, in case you don't know, is Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And it just so happened that we were there one week before Cassini's final descent into the rings of Saturn. 
it was just so incredible. It was actually so remarkable that by the time we were hit, hit the parking lot and we were in the car, I already had the title of a song and a title for my next record. And during this pandemic, I actually felt inspired to write an album, an acoustic album. And the title track is called Cassini's Last Dance. It's really dedicated to the, the scientists, the visionary scientists. There's actually over 200 international scientists that created this spectacular mission. And if you don't know about it, go check it out. Uh, so anyway, in honor of the Cassini project, I give you the title track, Cassini's Last Dance. If you want to know more about the Cassini Project, check out my podcast, Making It with Terry Wallman, where I interviewed the great Dr. Linda Spilker, the head of the Cassini Project. And by the way, don't forget to check me out on Instagram so you can follow all of my podcasts, hear about all of my upcoming albums and everything else we've got going on. Check me out on Instagram at Terry Wallman. Some of you might not know that I have a degree in arranging. And one of the reasons that I went to school to learn how to arrange was so that I could write for strings. I absolutely love strings. It makes me so happy to conduct and, and hear the sound of the bows going across the strings and, and the, the sound of them moving the air across the room in a recording studio. It's just, it's just so amazing. So, uh, so I, I wrote strings for um, a couple of arrangements uh, on the Christmas record. And one of them was for Silent Night. And we were able to take some video of that that I want to share with you. And it's of the Silent Night uh, recording. And it's a mix that was never released. And it's pretty much of the strings loud so that we could actually hear the strings to make sure that everything was working and, and, and just to check it.
So I really wanted to share this with you and, and I hope you enjoy this. Here's the Silent Night string arrangement. Anyone who knows me knows that Joni Mitchell is one of my very favorite artists of all time. If not my number one favorite, don't tell the others. <laughs> this next tune is one of my favorites by Joni, and it's long been 
called a Christmas song, even though she doesn't mention it but once. And from what I've read, she doesn't necessarily think of it that way. But winter is a very special season and um, it's a very introspective time. And so um, this song is so meaningful to me and I hope you'll enjoy it. This has been recorded many times by many different people and I recorded it as well on my Christmas record, which will be reissued um, next Christmas, 2021. Can't wait. Thank you so much and enjoy River. that's a wrap <laughs> thank you so much for being with us we really sincerely hope thank that you. you've enjoyed uh listening and watching as much as we've enjoyed performing and sharing with you this has really been a treat because we normally would be performing out in yeah. the world but since we don't uh, have that option right now what a gift to come to you in your living rooms 
It's been really special. Yeah, we yeah. were trying to figure out how to end, how to end the show, and yeah. um, you know, this what we decided to do was sort of a bonus track, if you little will. parting gift. Yeah, a little parting <laughs> gift. Exactly right. So you know, this isn't a Christmas song, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. But it certainly speaks to the spirit of Christmas and the holidays, and and um, where we are where we are right now. So I'll let Terry tell you a little bit more about it, and we'll, then we'll we'll say goodnight. <laughs> I felt compelled to write this song, co-write this song, and to produce it. And the intention was was very simple, but extremely clear. Basically, it's just that every voice matters mm -hmm. and that we are all in this together. We are all one and every voice counts. So we have a 33 voice choir. Everyone donated their time yeah. happily. It's gorgeous. It's it's very moving and very powerful. It was powerful to be a part of as uh, we both, of course, sang yeah. and, and performed on it. We hope that you enjoy it in the spirit in which we're offering it. So everybody, thank you again for being here and thank please you. enjoy beautiful sound of us. See you later. Take good care. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs>